Everyone, this is Stealth, and welcome back to Motor Gear Solid. So on the last update, I brought in my personal bike, and I took all the fairings off, my red and silver and black CBR 250R. I put them on the project bike, and it looked really good, especially with the black rims. I liked it a lot. I was almost regretting doing that, but my heart's set on having a black CBR 250R, so that's still going forward. So the, this project bike is completed, and in the spring, I can sell the bike to hopefully another beginner rider and they can enjoy it. First thing I'm gonna to do to the bike is get this tire replaced because I would like to ride this bike in the spring for a few months before I get rid of it. So I'm gonna take off the wheel and take the tire to the motorcycle shop and they're gonna replace it. I'm gonna bring it back and reinstall it. I removed the rear wheel, that way I can take it to the shop and get the tire replaced. I also removed the chain cover guard and mud guard flap thing. I took it off to clean it, along with the uh, front lower cover. I'm going to clean these both up and then use that plastic restore stuff from Meguiar's. Should look really good. I've also removed the stock header and exhaust. I'm going to scrape off any rust I see and then paint it with that high heat manifold paint and flat black. Because right now it's all discolored, you can see, from just being used. And giving it a fresh paint job should look really sharp. I realized something before I took this tire to go get it replaced. You can see the bike's on jack stands because the tires on the project bike are phenomenal. Like, they're in fantastic shape. They have tons of tread on them. You can still see a lot of the hairs on them. So, why would I buy new tires when this one, this project bike that was neglected actually had some really good tires. So that's why it's on the jack stands because I only have one stand here, one lift stand. So I'm going to take this tire off and put it on my bike. It's already painted black. And I'm going to take the tire that's in this bag, silver rim, and put it on the project bike. And I'll just, I don't know, maybe I'll paint them. I'm not sure. It looks really good. Maybe it'll help sell it quicker if it looks nicer with the black rims maybe I'll paint them but we'll see but for now I'm just gonna put this tire on my bike and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with the silver rims once they're switched I realized before I put the tire back on there's some stuff I still need to do on this rear section place the chain and then lube it up take off this cover here and then change the sprocket to the 15 2 sprocket for, for the taller gearing and I also need to change the brake pads. So I'm going to try to do all this stuff today. That way I can put the rear tire on. I don't have to worry about any of this stuff. tooth sprocket is installed so what this is going to do is it's going to make the gears a little bit longer like taller so hopefully 
first gear isn't so short it doesn't rep so high on the highway when you're in sixth gear make sure I let you guys know how it feels on a road test later on okay so the rear tire is on and I moved it all the way forward just to give me some slack to put the chain on because I put a 15 tooth front sprocket so I don't know how much I'm gonna need so I just made sure I had enough yeah. using a niche drive chain I'm still using the stock setting I think it's 520 by 108 links put the two o-rings on the link okay I got it on after some struggle but there's still some slack which is good because I'm able to stress the chain a bit then the link cover plate Okay, so I got one end of the retainer clip on there. So I'm just gonna All right, got it in. Make sure the clip is going that way. Like a, think of it like an arrowhead. Okay, the chain is on. I went ahead and put on the front wheel for my personal bike that's going to become black. I ended up putting the silver wheels back on the project bike. I didn't feel like painting them. I think the bike looks fine with the silver wheels. When I get home, I'm going to change this cover. I have a new one, another silver one, just so it looks new and shiny for the next buyer. Okay, so that's it for today. I did all that work on my personal bike. Put the wheels on the red bike, the new red bike, project bike. This project bike is completed, so I'm going to ride this home and get it out of the shop because it's in the way. I still have cosplay stuff to do because that's my main thing, you can see here, cosplay. So it's pretty cold out, but I don't care. I'm just gonna ride it home. I'll let you guys know how it rides. I'm gonna ride really slow because you know I'm a new hobbyist and you know motorcycle maintenance and all that stuff. So I'll be sure that the, uh, you know, the wheels are on and everything. I torqued everything to spec and all that, but you know, I'll just go slow and take it easy. So that's it for this video. This is Stealth from Motor Gear Solid. I'll see you guys in the next video.